So what if we could take the data that comes from a weather station that would normally go to a terminal like this, but feed it into something like this, Home Assistant, where you can access it from any device on your network across the internet and have the data displayed in a nice format with historic data being stored. Well, you can. With the use of one of these ESP32 devices, which has inbuilt 433 MHz transceivers, using a special dedicated firmware, you can configure these to receive ISM packets on the 433 MHz band and then send them to an MQTT broker, nicely formatted for something like Home Assistant to process and store. Now this all started with the RTL433 ESP project, which is available on GitHub. Now this allows ISM packets to be received and decoded all on an ESP32 device. Now this same library has been incorporated into OpenMQTT Gateway, which also runs on ESP32 devices. Now OpenMQTT Gateway supports many ESP32 devices and provides easy link into home automation systems. Now let's go through how we set this up. Of course, you will need a compatible device. For those of you that purchased the Lily Go 433 LoRa module when I was covering them, you can use one of those. Otherwise, please look on the website for supported devices. We will need first to load the firmware onto the ESP32 device. Now, the easiest way to do this is to head to the Open MQTT Gateway website and then use the Upload from Web option. With the device plugged into your computer, select the device type from the drop down menu. Now I'll be using the LilyGo RTL433 firmware. Now this firmware is supported on both this device and this device, plus a few others. Click the install button and the firmware should then be installed. Now once finished, you'll see this message on the screen. To configure the device, you need to connect to its ad hoc Wi-Fi connection using something like your mobile phone, but we'll do that part shortly as first we need to set up Home Assistant. A Home Assistant can be installed on a few different operating systems like Raspberry Pi, Windows, Linux, etc. Now in this video, I'll be installing Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now you can also do this same process using Node-RED or OpenHab, but for this video, I'll be using Home Assistant. Now using Balan Etcher, you can enter the image download URL and with a spare SD card inserted into your computer, you can go ahead and write the Home Assistant image to the SD card. Now once finished, just pop the SD card into your Raspberry Pi, connect a network cable to your home network and then power on. Now on a computer on the same network, head to this URL. Now you will need to wait a few minutes for Home Assistant to configure itself, but once configured, you'll be presented with a screen like this so that you can create your first user. Now, once you've created the user, continue with the initial setup until you reach the main dashboard. Now you need to install the Mosquito MQTT broker. Go to settings and then add-ons. Click on add-on from store on the bottom right and then select Mosquito broker and then click install. Once it's installed, click the start button. Mosquito Broker will use the same credentials, the username and password that you created when you first set up Home Assistant. Now you need to grab your mobile phone or some kind of device that's on the same network and then go to your Wi-Fi connections. Make sure that your ESP32 device is powered on. Now within the Wi-Fi configurations list, you'll see the Open MQTT Gateway Ad Hoc Wi-Fi. Select this and then wait a couple of seconds for a pop-up to show. Then tap on Configure Wi-Fi. Select your Wi-Fi at the top and then enter your Wi-Fi's password. Now underneath this, you'll need to enter the IP address of the device which is running the Home Assistant software. In my case, it's my Raspberry Pi. You can leave the port as the default 1883 unless of course you've already changed it in the Mosquito settings within Home Assistant. Now the username and password will be the same as the user you configured in Home Assistant. You can then either leave the gateway name as is, or you can change it to your liking. This will be the reporting gateway text, which will show on the HA discovered devices. If finished, then just press save. Your ESP32 device will now connect to your local Wi-Fi 
and then attempt to connect to the MQTT broker that you've previously configured. And once connected, it will start sending decoded RTL433 packets to the broker. In turn, Home Assistant will also receive these via the broker, which will then allow you to create dashboard cards with live data. You can even create a dashboard card for the ESP32 device, which will also show you live stats. Assuming that 433 devices such as weather stations have been received, you can now add these to the dashboard. So just go to settings, then devices and services. On the Mosquito Broker card, it should detail how many devices and entities have been discovered. Entities are the sensors within a device. Click on devices and you'll see a list of devices which can be added to the dashboard. Here I will add a dashboard card for the ESP32 device. Simply click on it within the device list and then click add to dashboard under the sensor card. Now I also notice that my outside weather station has also been detected. So if I go back to the device list and then click on it, I can now add the live sensor data to a card on the main dashboard by clicking add to dashboard. To add cool looking gauges like a temperature sensor reading, you can edit the dashboard and manually add a card. So select the template of how you want it to look and then assign the data to it from the drop down at the top called entity. Here you can choose any entity from any detected device, not just one particular weather station. In fact, it's not only weather stations that can display here, there are lots of devices that use the 433 ISM band and quite a lot of them are already decoded in open MQTT gateway firmware with more being added all the time. Anything from motion sensors to smoke alarms can be detected and the state of these can be shown on the dashboard. Displaying data is just the tip of the iceberg with home automation software like Home Assistant. For example, you could have a temperature sensor in a particular room which then when it reaches a certain temperature could automatically turn on a heater. Now that's just one example of how Home Assistant could work out of the many thousands. I've always wanted a system which I could keep track of the data from my weather station and thanks to this project I'm now able to do this, plus much much more. Now incidentally I did first try OpenHab as I thought its interface looked a lot nicer. However, for the life of me, I could not get any sensor information to show. Only data from the open MQTT gateway device would be shown live. Maybe I will revisit that project once I learn more about home automation software. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, stay safe, take care, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.